Hello everyone. Uh, give me just two seconds while I just get this. Uh, I just get this all set up. To those of you that are watching, uh, this is kind of a. I apologise about that. I'm just trying to get my uh, my feed up. Um, hey guys. So I want to try and get the feed up, and the reason for that is because when I went live last time, uh, I missed loads of uh, the comments that people were were asking me. So what I'm doing is I'm uh, filming the screen and I'm going to watch the feed on my laptop so I can read the comments. It's a bit easier that way as well. So uh, hello to everyone. Uh, how is Zelda? She's doing really well. I actually spoke to Kim. Uh, she's away this week on holiday. Bliss. Um, if you're watching Kim, I apologise. Uh, basically, I fed Zelda on Thursday, which was featured in Saturday's video, which was re-uploaded uh, in the early hours this morning. And I fed her, I put an, a second uh, locust in there with her, the, the adult ones, and I looked in on her and she's actually eating it now. So she's had uh, two adult locusts in two days, uh, sorry, three days. So that's uh, pretty good. Uh, no, this is actually my second time live, uh, properly at least anyway. And there is a reason why I'm going uh, live. So firstly, like I said, uh, when I went live last time, I missed a load of the questions which was a real, real shame. So I figured if I go on to, um, if I do it live on YouTube, I can get the feed up on my laptop, I can see uh, hopefully the comments and things, uh, and I can sort of record it and stuff. So that's what I hope. So um, yeah, what I wanted to talk about firstly, uh, I'm sticking to the schedule the best I can. Uh, I do apologize for the problem with yesterday's video. Um, when I listened to it back, I think because I knew what I was saying, it sounded more clearer to me, which is why I re-uploaded it. So I apologise for that, but I want to try and make my videos as best as I can, so I figured that was the best way to do so. Uh, the schedule this week is already set. Uh, I was going to change something, but I will wait and show you on Saturday. Uh, Saturday's video, a uh, little sneak peek. So I presume... Um, Many of you may have seen the video with the crabs. Uh, the one had been bullied, had uh, one claw and three legs um, ripped off. Um, oh, hang on. Um, rose hair won't eat. Uh, if your rose hair won't eat, either age stubborn. I had one that didn't eat for 13 months. So um, that they can be fuss eaters. And also it could be in pre-malt. So I just leave it alone and... It will probably eat when it's ready in the future. So just give it, you know, don't worry about it. They do it all the time. Um, a room tour. Um, I could do that, I guess, if you guys want to have a quick look around at my, my animals. Uh, why doesn't my sub count show? Um, just turned it off, uh, I guess. Uh, lots of people keep asking me to do, uh, like, sub reveals at 10,000 subscribers and things. Um, I passed 10,000 subscribers about seven years ago or something. A few, so a few years ago. Um, while I'm on that note, uh, a week on Thursday I'm going to London for a long weekend uh, for Kim's birthday. And while I'm there, I'm going to the uh, YouTube uh, creator studio, the uh, YouTube space in London. So uh, I was going to say if any of you are YouTubers and would be interested in meeting up there, I'm going there on Friday the 1st of September I'll be there from 10 o'clock in the morning uh, I'll probably do some maybe some collaborating if anyone's there and wants to do collaborate uh, if not I'll be doing like a tour of the place and stuff so it's pretty good um, what happened to the uh, so yeah the uh, widen sub count show is just turned off uh, people always ask me and it, I don't know it's just always been that way I guess uh, the old weaver uh, the free range old weaver that did die unfortunately hence why it's not in my room uh, it ate and was drinking and everything fine and then died actually sorry guys um, my phone just completely like just crashed for no reason or oh, it's a Sony I'm going to give me a second I'm trying to get, keep trying to cool my phone down I don't know if it's overheating um, so I will try and do that again. Sorry, I don't know why that happened. Um, so yeah, the All Weaver, the Free Range All Weaver died, which is a shame. Um, hello from Mexico. Um, 
I haven't watched uh, your videos lately. Can you tell me the spiders that you have? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, if I get up a, I actually have a list, um, the actual spiders list. So I have the B. Amelia, B. Carl and Bergy, B. Albiceps, uh, Carrie Burn and Versicola, Ceratogus marshalli, Celebrachis species, Electric Blue, Celebrachis uh, Carl Kraken, the Darth Earth Tiger, um, Chromatopelma sinipibescens, Gramostola porcra, G. Porcripes, Gramostola portri, Gramostola irringi, uh, H. Mac, Lassidora difficilis, Lassidora parahybana, um, Ovilose peas, Pamphobeta species, Esmeraldus, Petrina charles marinus, uh, Poglotheria, Hanuma vila semica, Vitata metallica ornata, uh, S. calciatum, T. lagunus, Theraposa sturmi, uh, T. species panama, the panama pink, uh, the Typhochina saladonia, of course I have that one, um, Wipropora diversipes and Wipropora uh, suratama, which were previously avicularia. Uh, if I just move down the list, um, of course, of those I do have multiples of. I also have the Mystery Huntsman, uh, the H and Cygnus Huntsman, uh, the C uh, species Silver Trapdoor, uh, the A Fabriki um, African Predatory Beetle, uh, the Talus Whip Scorpion, Scolopendra de Harney, um, the Land Crab, which I need to talk about that in a second, um, the Ornate Spitting Spider. Of course, I have all of my moths and things, my geckos, and uh, flower beetles, millipedes, giant pill bugs, Spanish wood lice. Uh, I have the camel spider that I got recently, the um, M. Taiwanensis, the funnel web spider, uh, Hypactria pulchripes, uh, the ladybird spider, and the O species, Min Minial. I can't remember, my pronunciation of that isn't fantastic, so I apologize. Um, I'm trying to read through all of these comments. So um, so that's a list of some of my, of my spiders. I don't think I missed anything off. I don't think so anyway. Um, do you respond to us? I do my best to respond to everyone. Um, it's um, very hard to when I get sort of hundreds and sometimes thousands of comments. Um, so yeah, I apologize about cutting off my phone just died. Um, so yeah, sorry. Uh, sorry. Okay, my phone's overheating. It's a Sony. Um, I'm by the window, so hopefully that'll be better. And you can also have a look at some animals and stuff. Absolute pain. Um, obviously, I do have a Pyrogallus as well. So going back to the com uh, comments, where I was at. Um, yeah. Um, to Liz Westcott, I had a message off Christopher Westcott. I think it was on my Facebook regarding the giant wetter. I'm definitely going to be looking at trying to get some of those. Did I replace um, my Nephila? Yes, I did replace it. That also died. Uh, the problem with them is when you buy them, you very often get them as adults. So uh, that's a bit of a pain. Um, would I consider owning the brilliant Brazilian Wonder Spider? I would, but I don't think I'll get them in uh, this country. How's your community um, enclosure and the eggs doing? Uh, they're doing great. I'm going to be putting in an order with Virginia Cheeseman and probably get some new millipedes and miscellaneous bugs for the um you know for to add into it do i have any reptiles yes i do i have two geckos and of course ramsey my bearded dragon who i love my bearded dragon but she's a bit of a sh well a bit of a shit i've been trying to grow this venus flytrap and whenever she comes out she goes straight for it and she eats all the heads off and she's killing the plant so um yes i do have uh, reptiles um Um, so, um, yeah, like I, said, I apologize if my phone keeps crashing. If it does go off, uh, bear with me. I'll have to wait a few seconds for the phone to cool down. And hopefully with my arm out the window, it'll remain sort of cool. So what I wanted to talk about, firstly, um, I thought this was pretty cool. I wanted to just share it with you pretty quickly. Um, you remember the video I did recently of the crabs, where there's the two crabs and the one was kind of bullying the other one. Uh, it lost its uh, one claw, three legs on one side and one on the other. Well, I'm very happy to say, I'll just show you this. Uh, this is the crab malt. Um, it has malted, I was looking today, and not only has it malted successfully, it has malted uh, and regrew back uh, one claw and four legs. So, um, 
so yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. And like I said, I apologise about the stream keep crashing. Um, if it does go off again, please bear with me. I will get back on as soon as I can. Uh, just sort of just chill for a bit. I'm sorry. I, it's my phone is overheating. I am going to try and get it set up on my laptop so that I can do live streaming from that. So, but yeah, so um, I say, I mean, that's the the sort of the, the top shell of the crab. And um, it's the, the other part. Um, and I've actually just put some food in there. And I'm actually surprised it malted not only um, they malted well, but it regrew back everything. Like I said, uh, the claws, um, the legs and everything. What's even more impressive is that I checked up on the other one after and the other one has malted as well. So both crabs malted this morning um, and they're both doing really, really well. So that is that will be in um, in Saturday's video. So I thought that'd be, I really wanted to share that with you because I'm so happy that it's done that. Um, so yeah, my favourite spider, um, personally my favourite spider in my collection would be Zelda, my Lassie Doa Power High Banner, uh, simply because she's the first spider that I reared from a tiny sling. So for that reason, she has kind of sentimental value. Um, of course, in terms of a value it would be the uh, Typho Chilena Saladonia, the Brazilian George Tarantula, because it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I might give you maybe a little peek if you would like to have a look at it. But yeah, it's if you've seen the videos of my T Saladonia, uh, if you're a new subscriber, I've had um, I've been making sort of about five thousand subscribers a week at the moment, which is pretty good. Um, if you are one of the new subscribers. Um, you haven't seen that spider i would definitely go and check out my videos on that it is absolutely gorgeous so um so yeah um it's pretty awesome um uh dan may i ask you which english country you are from i'm from england <laughs> uh yeah i'm from um i live in a little town called Stavridge, which is not far from birmingham which is like central england in the Mid midlands um just kind of like where I live, sort of like there's like some houses there, and then behind those houses is the countryside. So it's just like fields and woods. It's quite nice out there, to be fair. Uh, has my camel spider eaten? No, it hasn't. Um, it pretty much did a burrow and didn't come back out. I was on Discord the other night. If any of you um, have Discord or you uh, are interested in going on to Discord, I'm on there most nights, and I actually I was on there the other night. Um, we were doing a video chat, um, and so long as you have a webcam, you can see other people's webcams up to 10 people. So we were just sat there just, just chatting away about things. It's really good. And while we were um, we were talking, I showed I got my camel spider out to go and show people. Oh, man, it was evil. Like, completely polar opposite of what it was like. So no, it hasn't eaten yet. Um, it kind of has buried itself. So I, it may molt. If not, I will try and feed it in the week. And hopefully, I, uh, if it does, I'll add that into Saturday's video. Because tomorrow, uh, not tomorrow, Tuesday's video is already um, done. It's to do with, um, it's a rehousing video. I've rehoused uh, four tarantulas, uh, two pokies, um, and two terrestrials. So, um, will I get into gaming? Um, that's actually an interesting question because I do actually play video games. Um, I have a Nintendo Switch, uh, the PS4 Pro, and the Xbox One, uh, all of which you can play and stream at the same time and I have thought about it um, the only thing is I'm not really sure how to go about it and if people will enjoy it if I was to do it I would do it as like on, on like a different day so like on like a Sunday for example I I would maybe do like a, a gaming video then or something but for me gaming is more casual and the problem is I don't have that much time to actually play games I'm usually that busy with other things that when I do have five minutes, I don't want to really play games. And the less time that I have editing videos, the better. I mean, some days I'll edit videos for sort of sort of four, five, six hours um, on weekends and things. So it always takes a, a, quite a lot of my time. But if any of you do play, um, I have found that I've had uh, quite a lot of people. Um, they've added me on sort of PlayStation and Xbox and have invited me to chat. And I will just sort of sit there and just chat to, you know, just chat to you one on one. I'm very happy to do that. So, um, so yeah. Uh, how's your communion closure? Um, yeah, it's all going well. Um, uh, the leg has not corrected. Uh, the one is still sticking up. 
Um, the one that was tucked underneath, that one's fine. So hopefully it might have been just sort of a bit sort of mangled because of maybe being in, in transit and things. Um, Michael Clark, Daniel, can I get some advice? Um, yeah, absolutely. Um, what should I feed my baby black widows? Um, they're quite small. Uh, this is all subject. I don't keep uh, black widows, but if I had an enclosure with a lot of uh, spiderlings inside, what I would recommend doing, uh, which I do with a lot of my spiders, is I buy things like springtails, which are kind of like tiny little white things that jump around and... Um, yeah um they they don't harm the spider but like my my t celadonia um hasn't eaten pretty much uh, since it's molted and the reason i found is i look in there sometimes and my celadonia because it's being very small is eating the celadon uh, is eating the springtails so maybe try and introduce uh some springtails into the bottom and the babies will eat those and like i said they are also harmless to to your spiders as well um Cod gaming, um, you'll have to be a bit more specific on what it is that you want. Dan, are you planning on getting new stag or rhino beetles? Yes, I am. Um, I love beetles. Obviously, I have the African predatory beetle, which is in that enclosure over there, and I also have the uh, giant fruit beetles. Uh, I was gonna buy some more giant ones or some stag beetles because uh, the spider shop had some in. The problem is, obviously, I, I don't wanna have two males together because they will of course fight and I don't want that so maybe when this male dies um, then I will look at getting some more beetles because uh, at the moment I don't ha I have room for smaller spiders but because especially when you can stack them but the beetles I like to keep them in very large enclosures um, that one's I don't know if it's eight but I think that was like 18 inches cubed pretty much so I don't have room to have those kind of enclosures like dotted around the place so but i will get some more beetles in the future don't worry about that um arc survival evolved i actually have that on xbox one um my username is true is it tarantula dan yeah it's tarantula dan on, on xbox um i do have it and i haven't played it for a while because whenever i play it um i don't play with people i pretty much play solo because whenever i try and sort of join people they kill me and take my stuff so i haven't played it for ages because of that reason um but if there's a good few, few a few people that wanted to play that i'd be more than happy to jump on um so what do i think about the uh the taiwanese funnel web um yeah i really do like it um it's done a really cool little burrow um in fact if i just let's go and walk around I'm going to put my light on I know it's very dark I apologise but I'm going to come back um, here it is if I just come back to the light so um, yeah this is the um, the enclosure as you can see it's already started kind of webbing up uh, quite a lot um, and yeah I'm looking forward to watching it sort of grow and things the only problem not not so much the problem with it but because of um how potent it is i'm really i mean like people probably think that i when i did the unboxing that i cut it off i like i'd be messing around like i was honestly so careful unboxing this um i didn't put my hands anywhere near it i didn't handle it i got it out kind of wedged it with the tissue into the box into the thingy um because I'm not taking any risks with this, especially as, like, you know, I do handle spiders. Um, I'm kind of not getting out of that, but I don't want to encourage it. Uh, so having something like this, I'm not going to I'm not gonna mess around with that at all. So, But, yeah, um, really looking forward to watching this one grow. And, yeah, just very excited in general with that one because it's kind of something very different. The true spiders I've had in the past, um, for example, things like the Huntsman, you know, I mean, they're just... Huntsmen are wonderful. I absolutely love them. Um, I've never had, like, so much as, like, a threat posture from them, whereas that, especially when it gets bigger, I know it's probably going to give me a bit of jip. So um, if you're still watching my channel in, like, six months or a year and two years, hopefully that one will get pretty big and I'll be able to make some pretty cool videos. I will say now there will be no handling videos, unless it dies, 
then I will, but even then I'll wear gloves just in case it kind of comes back from the grave and tries to bite me. Um, so yeah, uh, God comments, let me just scroll through. Um, cheers from Boston, as awkward at the start of your channel. Um, at first, I didn't like being in front of the camera, and the main reason for that, um, when I do videos, I, I can do sort of six or seven takes to get it how I want, with the exception of unboxing videos, but general vlogs and things. Um, like I just do so much talking, I stop and I re-record it because I don't script anything. I talk, I just say it as it comes to mind, and I have a stutter. So if I'm talking, I get things wrong. It it's a bit kind of I find it quite embarrassing when I'm sort of stuttering and unable to um when I'm unable to talk. So, but yeah, I did get over that, and I don't mind being behind the camera. To be fair, it's it's, in a way, it's kind of nice knowing that there's people out there that like to to watch me and what I do. And, of course, I like seeing my animals. I mean, yeah, I mean, they're all sort of, like, you know, kind of ready. I, you see down, down here, I've been doing the rehousing videos um, the, from the, the substrate and that. Um, so, no, I don't mind being on camera at all. Um, so, um... I'm joining your Discord. You seem like a chill guy. Others should do the same. Yeah, thank you uh, to Sam Fisher. Um, there is the there's the Discord, um, which is the Transfer Addicts one. Uh, I'm on there a lot, and there's great. I mean, honestly, I've met some really nice people. Uh, Casey Tranchlers, um, from uh, Kansas City. I don't know which one because there's two Kansas Cities, which he told me. Um, yeah, honestly, really nice guy. The other night I was on there. I was editing videos till about two in the morning. And I just sat there having this conversation with this girl from Norway, I think she's from. Uh, just talking about spiders and things. Uh, it's Discord is free. You can voice chat and things. It's really good. And I do have my own Discord as well, so which would mostly be used for sort of like patrons and things. But at the same time, if people want to just join and just sort of ask me a question or jump into a chat, uh, you can do like um, group conversations and things. Then, you know, it's really good for that. And I do try and reply to everyone. Um, I'm not purposely slow replying, but of course, um, I have uh, sort of my Facebook page, my Instagram, YouTube comments to go through. I have messages, Facebook, as well as replying to all of those. I have to look after my animals. Um, I have to reading up and researching them. I also do lots of bike riding when I'm not filming and working and things. Um, of course, I have a um, I'm with Kim, so we like to have a bit of time where we just play video games, you know, bit of Zelda and stuff like that. So I have lots to do. So, but I am on Discord and I do enjoy talking to people. So please, please do come along. Um, what is my my community enclosure? So I have the uh, one um, giant flower beetle, uh, which is the male because the female sadly died after basically. Um, <laughs> how do I say this? I don't know if there's any sort of children watching, but basically they, they were very busy a lot of the time, and she died of basically sexual exhaustion. Uh, so yeah, I have the male, who is probably feeling quite lonely. Um, I'd love to get just a female um, to put back in with him. Um, if I can do that at some point, I will. I have rainbow millipedes, Spanish woodlice, uh, springtails. I have the uh, giant pill bugs, um, springtails. And then I'll go put an order in with Virginia Cheeseman for uh, some giant African train millipedes, uh, bumblebee millipedes, of the fire, fire millipedes. Uh, just all kinds of just basically like millipedes and just invertebrates that won't eat each other. Um, and I will do an update on that because it's it's starting, especially with um, the beetles I learned, they eat the woodlice because of the protein, which I didn't know. Um, but because there's only one beetle left, the woodlice are like thriving in there. Like you can have a look and there's usually like little tiny little white like baby woodlice. Um, just crawling all over the place and kind of coexisting. It's it's really cool to watch and I will do a video um on that in the very near future. And of course, um if you like the whole communal idea, then you should definitely go over to Trans Radic's channel. Uh he's got one as well, which I think he's is doing really well. So definitely go and check out Trans Radict. Um Thanks for the advice man and get some springtails for sure. Yeah, Michael Clark, um Springtails are fantastic. Like I said, I have them in not all of my enclosures, but the uh, the T-Celadonia. I think Zelda's got some. Um, Tailless Whip Scorpions, which are in that one there, the purple one. Um, they I have them in there as well. Um, 
and they're really good cleanup crew, but they will eat them as well. So and they're not obviously not harmful for any of the spiders. Uh, what type of phone are you using? I'm using a Sony XZ or ZX or something. Um, it's a really good phone. The camera's fantastic on it. Um, it got all the apps. The only problem with it is that it overheats like straight away. Uh, the only reason I'm able to sort of keep doing it for this long is because my my phone is actually out the window, um, and it's raining and it's nice and cool outside. So. Um, that's kind of pretty good, I guess. Um, I will do this for future live videos. I suppose it's nice to have a bit of a background with regards to my animals and stuff like that. Uh, so yes, yeah, Sony mobile phone. Um, how many subs do I currently have? Um, I get asked that all the time. Um, I will say I have more than ten thousand, as I said earlier on. Um, could I? Sorry, could I try and do a live chat on Tuesday? Um, yeah, is that the live chat on? YouTube or on Discord, uh, let me know because I w will do that. The only problem with this week is every other week with my job, I have to go on call. So I could be here doing a live stream or chatting away. If my phone rings, I have to leave and go to work. That's it, basically. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to do a chat, then that's fine. Which, on about live chats, one of the reasons I wanted to do this because... Uh, a week on Thursday, I'm going down to London for Kim's birthday. Uh, staying in London for three nights. And on the Thursday's video on that day, so it's the 30th of August, there will not be a video up at 6pm. Instead, what I'm planning on doing is doing a live video at 9pm. So I know it's a little bit later, but this is my best way to sort of get that information out to you. And I will be putting it all over my social media if you have me on facebook uh, instagram or twitter you will have seen my post about me doing going live today so it's worth following me so you can see when i'm going to go live so yet yeah, thursday the 30th of august i will be live at 9 p.m here in the uk um instead of a 6 p.m video so uh that and the reason for that is because i'll be doing a quick vlog and like i said i'm in london uh, for a few days and on friday i'm going to the uh youtube space um the um space cafe in that so i'll be vlogging that so and obviously to get into there you have to have a minimum of ten thousand subscribers i've had that for many years now i've exceeded ten thousand a long time ago but i don't tell people what i earn what i have um so Tuesday, what spiders are in the community? Um, there aren't actually any spiders in the um, communal. There was one, like a little orb weaver, but I removed that because I didn't want, to eat, want it to eat the wood lice. Um, and I also didn't want it to breed and then me have a tank full of orb weavers and everything else gets eaten. Um, hello to Swag Nation. Um, just thought I'd pop in and say hello. Hello to uh, the Black Country Gamer. Sauce for caps, no worries, you are forgiven, don't do it again. <laughs> I'm very glad you answered mine and all the other people's questions. You definitely have inspired me and start looking at our passions. Looking forward to future videos. Uh, yeah, um, no, it's, it's fine. I, I genuinely do try and answer everyone's questions, but like I say, it's very hard. And this is the, um, the advantage of me going live, is that I was thinking about going live every other week um, on Sundays, because I'm not on call, so I won't get disturbed. And I could have a chat for, you know, 15 minutes, half an hour, an hour, however long you want me to. Um, and I can answer your questions directly as they come up on the screen. So this is a good way to do it. Um, at least I, th I think it's a good way of doing it. Uh, will we be getting the uh, Alamira, oh, the um, Alamira Dictoma beetles, the rhino beetles? Um, yes, I will, I think. Are they here? I think. Oops, give me a... I actually have them. People actually ask me quite a lot what I do with my beetles and if I mount them. And I'm pleased to say that I do. I have these ones mounted and I'm going to be... My plan is to have them cast in resin. So the um, the front one is the Aedictoma, the rhino beetle. The middle one is the male flower beetle, my previous male flower beetle. And the one on the back is the female um, Atticus... No, not Atticus... Uh, the female atlas beetle that I had. I also have the other one as well. So, But these are all dried out. Um, and I will either be pinning them into some frames. Or we'll be casting them in resin. And my plan is to um, have them mounted in one way or another. 
and then use them as giveaways because I thought they'd be pretty cool if you like bugs and you watch my channel you could have something like that that I framed um, thought I'd just mention that on about when I was the Beatles um, so um, Dan I missed some advice my Rocky Palmer Smith he just got done molting and it's female it's my fifth one but it's not eating superworms or quick sort of do um, it depends on how long ago the actual spot you spider molted if it molted a long time ago um, then just give it time if it's freshly molted just leave it um, I said earlier with when spiders molt um, I've had spiders molt and eat the same day in extreme cases um, the reason I offered it food the same day was when it um, the spider actually lost four legs so I offered it some food uh, to build itself up and it ate which everyone said don't do that but it did if you remember the Steve um, it was him other spiders will molt and they won't eat for two weeks and I've had spiders go as long as 13 months without eating that is literally nothing at all but as long as you give them water they should be fine and offer them food regularly so hopefully that sort of answered that question is there anyone in your family that shares your love of spiders or what made you like spiders okay um anyone in my family no not really um my brother kind of tolerates them but he's not very keen on them um of course there's my girlfriend kim um never very keen on spiders when i first met her like most girls um and i say oh i keep spiders and you know but now she's kind of fascinated with them and genuinely seems to enjoy them so that's that's pretty good as for how i got into them very long story but i'll try and summarize it very very quickly for you um i was always the kind of kid i would go down the garden with a tub and would capture bugs and insects and you know spiders and things because i was that kind of kid i always liked um insects and things but i never bought one until um me my brother and sisters were uh, we fostered and we sort of were split up when we were younger and my my younger sister went uh, to this house to live and her um it's hard to explain but basically the house that she was living in um the guy there they live next door to his mother-in-law so he bought a uh, a, a g rosé at the Ch chilean rose hair and kept in the kitchen because i lived next door every time they opened the door to come in there was a spider there and he bought it to keep the mother-in-law away and uh, that's true story um i never would have bought one and then he was like she kind of like stopped caring about this spider and so he's like it's no longer doing what i want it to do so do you want it so i had it that was thor um, I'm actually going to be doing, I actually have the video on here ready, but I'm going to be doing a video where I will be, um, I will be watching my very first video back, um, and cause I haven't seen it for ages, so I thought it'd be pretty cool to rewatch my very first video and give my reactions on it sort of so many years later and, and things. I thought that'd be kind of interesting. My light has run out of battery, so I apologize. Um, so yeah, that's how I ended up getting into tarantulas. Uh, what would be the best spider for you to buy for someone who hasn't cared for one before? Um, something hardy. I would recommend a, uh, a, a New World Terrestrial. So personally, something like a Rocky Palma. Um, Gramostola spiders. So uh, something like a G. Porcra, uh, G. Porcopies or Porcropes. Because they're all gorgeous. Or something like, even like an LP. Um, you know um it's worth doing your research regarding any of them but if you are yourself genuinely interested and would like to have a proper talk about it uh then if you would like to go onto the discord and i'll be more than happy to have a kind of a one-on-one -on -one conversation with you and give you you know tell you some spiders i would recommend and explain why i think that would be why that would be good um i know I've been commenting about the community enclosure a lot because I want to start one. But what spiders would be good in a community enclosure? Um, okay, so community spiders. Uh, there are a few that you can have success with. Um, I'm going to use the term avicularia. I know they're not avicularia. So you've got, for example, uh, the Cariburna versicolor. Uh, you can keep those communally or avic avix. Um, because you know, as long as you feed them, they're, they're pretty good together. Um, you can keep pokies together as well. I've kept a uh, communal of uh, P. metallica, uh, P. vitata. Though when I kept them as a communal, they were Pocolotheria pedicenni and P. regalis. I've kept those three uh, species of pokie together. 
um, M. Balfouri. Um, I've heard of people, they are meant to be like the best spider um, to keep community or one of the best. Uh, even if you buy them separately, um, like if you buy one as an adult and you buy another one, apparently they will coexist. But I haven't tried that. Um, if you uh, if you Google um, M. Balfouri communal, I'm sure you get some fantastic videos of uh, people that keep them together. So uh, I think actually um, a, a, friend, a good friend of mine, a fellow YouTuber, Petco from The Dark Den. If you haven't seen his channel, go and check him out. He's great. Um, I believe he has a communal, so he could be worth checking out. Uh, and also uh, Twina Charles Marinas, the Orange Baboon Tarantula. I had a communal of 40 of those. Um, and they lasted really, really well. Then I separated them into four groups of ten. Again, they lasted really, really well. And then eventually, um, in the one communal, um, I looked and there was just one fat one. So I separated them all uh, because it had eaten nine. And I didn't want that to happen to the other ones. So, so yeah, that's the communal ones. Um, so, um, two infinite days. Uh, thank you. Um, I'm glad you enjoyed my videos. Um, what's your job other than YouTube? Is it hard having two jobs at the same time and still having free time? Um, my job, I won't talk about too much um, for various reasons, but I work at a funeral director's um, and people who go, oh, that's really scary. Um, I really enjoyed, so I'm very lucky to have that job and it's good. It kind of fits me. Um, I I don't know, It's I like be working with people and things and I can't talk about my job for very you know, various reasons, but I do enjoy it. So um, yeah, is it hard having two jobs? Uh, not really. Um, so my main job, of course, is you know normal hours, I guess. Um, YouTube does take up a lot of my time. Most evenings I will be editing videos, replying to comments. Um, some nights I will be up till you know two, three in the morning, um, and on the weekends I spend a lot of time again doing the same kind of thing. Um, but you know what? Years ago, I when I started my channel, I never thought it'd get to the point where I have people, you know, that send me all these questions and watch my videos, and I get the views that I get, um, and the subscribers that I've got, and things. Um, so, I think with the effort that I put in over the past few years to get where I'm now, this is what I wanted, and so I'm gonna keep working hard to keep making best good content and replying to everyone and. And I enjoy it. I mean, there aren't many people who can say that they have a job where they get paid money to make videos and talk to people. You know, it's, in a way, um, my channel, for me, it's kind of like a lottery win, in the sense. Of course, I'm not a millionaire doing this, but in the sense that I'm able to earn money by doing something that I genuinely really, really love, and that other people seem to enjoy me doing as well. So, um, so yeah, I don't mind. And... Again, like with Kim, like she'll come round, and if I have to do like if I do um say six hours of editing on a weekend, she will sit there and just play um she'll just like play Zelda or or Mario Kart or something, and it's pretty cool. Um. So uh, so yeah, that's my job, and I do have free time this morning. I can't sort of show it, but if you have me on Instagram or um Snapchat, you will have had some videos, um. This morning, uh, me and my brother left the house about half eight, and we went out and marshaled a ride um, from street bike in Howes Owen for uh, the Midlands freewheelers. Um, I love marshalling, so like, I I sort of block off junctions and um, divert all the bikes, and then once they've all gone, um, and I'm left at the back, it's my job to basically get from the back to the front of the queue of however many bikers. Um, and it's really exciting, like, it's so much fun. Uh, if you are, uh, I, I have videos of me doing it in the past. If you'd like to see some more videos, I can upload them. So, but yeah, my free time is biking. That's what I enjoy. Um, I really love mounting insects, so I'm glad you're showing all this stuff. Yeah, I have loads. I mean, I have beetles. I have, here's, if you can see that, this is one pot full of malts. These are all pretty much perfect condition. Um... I have loads of pots of malts. I also have the uh, the moths and the butterflies that sadly died. Those are mounted as well. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, my plan is to dry them all out, uh, experiment with resin, get them cast or pinned into frames, and like I said, giveaways. I mean, it's all I 
I am planning giveaways, so if you are interested in me doing a giveaway, let me know what kind of things you want to do. Of course, I'll be doing one for um, the UK and one for Europe and one for America. Um, a spider giveaway to probably like £100 or $100 um, to various sort of um, internet uh, uh, spider online providers, suppliers. Um, but then there's people that watch my channel that maybe don't want to own a spider. So that's why I thought maybe casting an insect um, or maybe getting some of my merchandise and sort of sign it and all something like that. Uh, I could do that if people would be interested. Um, do you have any merch? Um, yeah, I do. Uh, in the description to my videos, I have a red bubble, um, which is where I got my Trancher Dan one. And if I get my laptop up, I actually have a new design. Um, if I go on to my Instagram, Instagram. Um, I have some um, new designs for a new uh, site that I've started using through my uh, my partnership uh, company is full screen and they have a really cool um, like a mer um, merchandise supply if you will and I don't know how well you'll be able to see this so it's uh, my logo in um, thing with webs and of course Oops, wrong way. Um, yeah, so it's um, those are like uh, t-shirts with uh, covered in web with my Huntsman logo and my name. Uh, again, links to that will be in the description of every video that I do. Um, it is advertised. So if you'd like to have a look at my merchandise, feel free to. You don't have to buy it, of course, but go to have a look. Um, yeah, I feel like to have a look. Uh, do you watch the King of Deer? Do you watch the King of Deer? Um, you know what? Um, at Sam Fisher, let me. Oh, I got pins and needles in my foot. Um, Sam Fisher, I don't watch uh, the King of DIY, but if um, if you can send me a link to his channel in one of my videos or just comment, I will try and remember it and I will go and check him out. Where do you go riding? Looks really familiar. So, obviously, I live uh, in Stourbridge, which is near Birmingham in the UK. My the main areas that I go out riding usually are. Around Kidderminster, uh, Bridge North, Bewdley, um, obviously we have it to sort of like, um, you know, Ludlow, sort of Wales Way, um, Redditch, there's some good, good rides over towards Redditch, uh, Tamworth, uh, really just depends on how far I've got to go, how, how much time I have, but um, yeah, I, I go out riding all the time, if you're a biker and would like, um, to know where I'm going then I guess you could if you add me on um, on my Facebook or something like that uh, and you request it I will let you know when I'm going out riding because you know I'm, I, I do enjoy riding with other bikers as well um, I ride with a group as a good group of us that go out and in all honesty we have the two minds of sort of sometimes we'll go out and we'll be really sort of kind of careful and you know, just enjoying the ride and other days we'll go out, you know, we've all got sort of uh, super sports and we will ride a little bit quicker. <laughs> um, but that's not that often. I thought, you know, just depends on, on what mood we're in and where we're going and things. All legal, never above 70, of course. Um, where do you go riding? Um, thank you, fellow uh, bug-loving friend. I made. Hello to all the uh, new people that have joined um when will you eat some of your spiders? You know what, Felix? Uh, you ask me that all the time. Um, in all honesty, if one of my spiders were to die, I don't think I would kind of fry it and eat it. Uh, that said, I have eaten spiders in the past. I've eaten um, Thai zebra tarantulas. Um, I got it in a can and it tasted... It was meant to taste like barbecue. It tasted like chewing charcoal. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, I'll stick to steaks and things. So, no, I won't be eating any of my spiders. I uh, love your channel. I mean, I'm still terrified of those giant house spiders that you keep. Uh, yeah, um, thank you. Um, yeah, I don't understand why people are scared of spiders myself. But if people who are scared of spiders can watch my videos, and over time I've had a lot of people um, tell me that they're over their fear. Excuse me. In fact, there's even people on the Discord page that... Um, 
you know, used to be scared of spiders and now own spiders. So that's really, really cool. Um, uh, a lot of people are saying that they would love that job. Yeah, I was very lucky to get it. Uh, like I said, I can't go into details, but it is a very, very good job and I, I do enjoy it. Both my jobs. Um, YouTube is a job at the end of the day. It's, it's a job that takes up a lot of time and obviously, you know, it's no secret. I do earn money from YouTube, um, which some people still don't understand um, or like, but at the same time, the amount of hours I put into YouTube um, and not just myself, other YouTubers in general, you know, um, there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes, you know, uh, buying the animals, um, general maintenance, filming, editing, uploading, commenting. It takes a lot of time. So, you know, it's nice to get something, a little something back for doing so. Um, and so for all of you that watch my videos and you leave comments and likes and share my content and everything, um, it really does help me and I really, I, I am very appreciative of it. So thank you very much. Um, uh, down Kimber. Is that um, Kimber as in, um, what's that, uh, by the Stew Pony? Between Stew Pony and Kidderminster? If so, I do go to Kidderminster um, quite a bit as well, but I was on the ride um, from Street Bike to uh, Quad Cuff in Quadford for the uh, Blood Bikers Midlands Free Wheelers charity. We were raising money for them. Um, I want to start the tea collection, but I'm not sure. Do I need anything special? Temp, humidity. Um, that would really depend on where you're from. Uh, some places are warmer, so they don't need as much heat, or they're colder, and they do. Again, if I would say if you are someone who's interested in um, getting a tarantula, uh, or any kind of invert, and you have a lot of questions for me, uh, maybe jump onto Discord, and I will gladly uh, do one-on-one -on -one or group chat with you, and we'll sort of try and answer questions that you all have at the same time or, or things. Um, what's your opinion on people getting... Um, um, so yeah, to hipster. Um, I think with anything, if you're going to get anything, regardless of what animal it is, or you have to, um, you have to read up on it and, and research. I mean, there's times when I do videos, like I made a really... I don't even know why I said it. Uh, when I did the unboxing of the ladybird spider, I referred to it as a jumping spider, and I know that it isn't. But sometimes it like little things just sort of slip out. Um, but in general, if you are going to buy any animal, whether it's a reptile or a bird or fish or anything, always research on it, research it. Make sure you have kind of the experience for it, that you know what you're dealing with, and that you have the finances and the time to be able to look after it. Um, some pets don't live for very long. Uh, surprisingly, people don't realise that when you buy a tarantula that they can live for up to like 30 years, um, which is twice as long as what a dog, the average dog will live kind of thing. So yeah, I would say any regardless of what animal it is, always research. Oh, okay. Um, Birmingham ride going... Okay, uh, so you were on a road bike. Um, did you go uh, on the Bridge North Road from uh, Stu Pony up towards Bridge North? Because as we were going round the bend just before where the Fox Pub is, there were some cyclists there. Um, I actually have a video on my laptop of today's uh, ride, but I can't upload it to YouTube for various reasons. I don't want to lose my license. Um, so, uh, was that you, were you there? application for mods um i don't know what, what you mean by that sam oh, I've, got, I've got loads i'm trying to scroll through i'm sorry um, um yeah i know litchfield burton um oh you live in brum as well yeah i say i, I live about if i'm if i'm on my bike i can get to birmingham in about 15 minutes um, or as people at work will say 30 minutes because it doesn't matter where I am in the world if I have to get to work I can be here in 30 minutes um, which I probably could with a lot of a lot of, uh, lot of roads and things um, would I ever keep a black widow or a brown recluse um, honestly yes if I had the opportunity to have either of those spiders I would um, as I said with this one the um, the Taiwanese funnel web I would um, I would get more sort of 
borderline DWA and DWA if I could. Of course, if I was going to have DWA, I would have to have a license. But um, that would be something I would look into if I was able to. Um, to Lance, uh, you're scared of spiders. Um, yeah, uh, hopefully if you keep watching my channel, don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. Uh, hopefully you will get over your fear. Um, it's It does work, believe it or not. Got me into watching Dan to get over my fear of spiders. Uh, it's working little by little. Uh, I'm glad to hear that uh, Black Country Gamer. Um, yeah, most people have a fear of spiders because... Because they're unusual looking, yeah, you know, they've got eight legs and eight eyes and they have big fangs and they produce silk from their, not their bum, but what looks like their bum, you know. Um, and yeah, they, they do look quite scary, but when you keep them and you observe them and you you just watch them, you realise that they're, they're not that scary. Um, they're actually very fascinating. Can I turn my phone around? Um, so you want to look out the window? Is that what you mean? Or do you mean so you can see... The rest of my room uh england hi dan hello uh destroyer um what are your thoughts currently ah frankus lee uh thank you for joining me what are your thoughts current inverts dwa list um the the dwa list i have mixed i i understand it's there because um we spoke about this Last year with the BTS, uh, there's me, you, um, Alan Hicken, and I think it was just us three. I think Danny uh, was, was with me as well. Um, and we spoke about the DWI because of things that, if you remember, you showed us a couple of things. Um, I kind of agree with it. I think it's there for good reasons. Obviously, with people new to the hobby, the thought of someone just joining the hobby and then going out and buying something you know like top of the dwa list is kind of a scary thought yeah they get yeah you know, they're irresponsible they get bit by it the papers get involved god forbid Pfft, you know how that's gonna go you have to have like look at that um when i did the video on the yellow sack spider which went up like sort of on this weekend um and you can see the news uh report on that spider so if there was something like a black widow or you know brown recluse or something um and that bit it would be really bad for the hobby and i kind of think tarantulas and people you know it's it doesn't get enough credit for doing good as it is so i think having the dwa is there for the right reasons i guess it'd be nice if they were to like look at say you know if you could go for like an interview and say oh i've been keeping this many spiders for this year many years and this is my my invert keeping history or whatever and or even reptiles of course um and they were like, oh, yeah, well, you're responsible, so there you go. Um, that would be nice, but, you know, it's the DWA. The thing with the DWA list is it is there to protect people at the end of the day. Um, I suppose I wish it would be nice if, if I would like to have more, you know, to have DWA animals. But I don't know. I don't know if that's answered your question or not. I was kind of rambling there, but you know um as as to anything that i would add to it um no I, I i can't think of anything off the top of my head i think all the main things are on there in terms of uh sort of uh true spiders and scorpions um honestly i'm not that knowledgeable about venomous snakes because i don't research snakes at all so um someone's commented in another language i'm sorry i can't read that i'm not even going to attempt I, I struggle with english so i can't read that sorry um, got your mount to camel spider once it's died. Yeah, uh, if my camel spider does die, I will really try and get that mounted uh, and and try and get it dried up. I'll probably like put it in a tub with like some salt or something and bury it, um, and just try and get all the moisture out of it as, you know, and yeah, I will. I might have to Google how to taxidermy uh, something like that. I did actually buy recently um some scalpels because I think with the camel spider the main part that would be um with all the sort of stuff in it would be the abdomen so i've got some scalpels i could remove uh the abdomen from it um and then sort of uh you know put it in some um yeah you know, like some like, like alcohol or something and then obviously uh kind of glue it back on so i actually contacted a gentleman about um how to taxidermy um the atlas moth and he couldn't do it for me but he sent me a, a link that explained everything fantastically so i will probably do that 
Um, so, um, what types of games do you play? Uh, yeah, I play Ark, um, Assassin's Creed, Halo, Legend of Zelda, uh, Splatoon, Mario Kart. Um, I am currently playing Crash Bandicoot, um, the Twin Sane trilogy. Um, honestly, that game really pisses me off because it's so hard. Um, if Kim was here, she'd tell you I'm like, I, I just turned it off. I just can't be bothered with it anymore. I completed Crash 3. Um, most, I think, part way through Crash 2. And I've done the first island on Crash 1. I'm on... What's... Uh, it's like up tight or something like that. I just can't be honest with it. I just really can't. Um, so yeah, I play. I like adventure games and yes, you know, uh, RPGs mostly. Um, would I get a red back? Uh, yes, if I was able to, I, I would get one. Um, how do you not spend hours just looking into your enclosures? Um, I do. Uh, myself and Kim on weekends, if we get up, we will have a look around at seeing what's going on. Um, and on the nights, we'll get a bed as well. If I can't sleep, because uh, sometimes like, I can't sleep very well, or if I come back from work at like sort of usually like after four in the morning, if I get back in and I just don't want to go to bed, I will just sort of sit up and just watch my animals because you know most of them are like nocturnal. So while I'm normally sleeping, they're all out doing webs and digging and things. So it's pretty cool. Um, um, false. Black Widows are poisonous. Um, no, they're not poisonous. Don't eat false widows. Um, I don't think they taste very nice. Um, do you watch any um, car channels on YouTube? No. Um, I'm not actually a car person. Um, my car history, I, I, I do drive. Um, the my, I tear, my kind of level of knowledge when it comes to cars, I had the RX-8. Um, I had it about a year ago, two years, um, lovely car, I bought it because it was kind of sporty looking and it went really, really, really fast, but you know what, it was just so expensive and I'm not mechanically minded, and I just couldn't be bothered with it and I think I had it for, I had it for under a year and I just got rid of it, I'm not a car person, I have a, a car that gets me from A to B, I'm quite happy with that, uh, my sort of transportation um, kind of um, my enjoyment from trans transportation comes from motorbikes, so. Um, whereabouts is the list? Can I look it up? I presume if you just Google it, um, you should be able to find it. Um, it doesn't work on your on your CV. I had twenty two rips and in inverts at one point, and I just got odd looks. Um, I presume that would depend on where you were sending your CV. If you were apl applying to a pet shop or a zoo or something, maybe you'd get um, better looks and a better reaction. Uh, no fr no problem, Frankus. Um, Frankus, you're from down south, aren't you? Um, I, I mentioned earlier on in the feed, when I, I don't think you're actually um, present at the time. I'm going to be down in London at the end of this month. Um, I don't know whether you're about uh, in the area and would like to have a quick chat or a quick coffee while I'm down south. Because I missed you at the BTS this year, so I haven't seen you for like over a year. So if you would, I'm so I'm, I'm staying down in London for, for for a few days. If you would like to meet up, I I'm driving so I can travel to you. Um, then let me know. It'd be great to, to catch up with you. Um. So uh, hey Dan, uh, your videos are the reason I became interested in keeping tranchulas. Um, that's great to hear. Um, so do you have any tranchulas at the moment? And if so, what do you have? Um, have you done a room tour video? I'd like to see all this biodiversity insect habitat setups. So I didn't do a room tour as such. Like, if you want me to like do a video and walk around and say, "This is my TV. This is my Nintendo Wii." Uh, not Wii. I have the Wii. I, I have uh, the Nintendo Switches downstairs. I have my Wii U up here. Um, the Legend of Zelda edition, which is purely used for Netflix. Um, Netflix and YouTube. Um, but yeah, if you'd like me to walk around my room and show you everything, I could do that in a video. Apart from that, if you want to have a full tour of everything that I have, or at least that I had since at the time, um, I did the YR um, playlist, which is what you all requested. Uh, it's in six parts. And in that video, I, or in that playlist, 
I went around and uh, had a look and fed, had a look at and fed everything that I have, all of my my reptiles, my inverts, everything. Um, you play Ark online on PC? No. Excuse me. Um, I have it on Xbox One. Talking about games, I'm off to play Diablo Three. Have a good stream. Um, enjoy. <laughs> I haven't bothered to mount my uh, my mantids. Yeah, I got a scalpel. Um, it wasn't even that much. I just did like I just searched it on on, um, on eBay, uh, and it came with you know, like ten or fifteen extra blades as well. It was about a fiver. It wasn't it wasn't a lot, but it's sharp. Because obviously I'm not I'm not a doctor. I think I just need a, a, a scalpel with this to be able to sort of cut through an insect. So um, pretty pretty uh, cheap, I guess. Um, we be on Discord later. At what time are you on? Sorry if you already answered this. Well, we see with Discord, I don't sort of go on there set times I just kind of pop on and pop off um, so oh Frankus are you off uh, take care Frankus I'll see you later um, work okay uh, Frankus I'll be in touch with you um, I'll message you on WhatsApp in the week and maybe get something sorted um, <laughs> uh auto correct yeah i will be in touch with you frankus so and maybe we can meet up and have a have a chat it'd be nice to, to see you and, and things um so yeah with discord i just pop on and off um i will probably be on later on tonight uh once i've done this feed i'm gonna get tuesday's video uploaded it's literally up it's ready to go pretty much all i've got to do is upload it to youtube so i will do that um so yeah while that's uploading i'll jump onto discord then I'll be on voice chat if you want to continue chatting to me. Um, what are your favourite tarantula species? Um, that, of course, goes to the uh, Typho chilena celadonia. Um, if you know what that is, then I don't need to explain it. If you don't know what it is, go and look at my videos on the T. celadonia, and then you'll know why. Um, it's actually just up there. It is gorgeous. Um, obviously, it's the most expensive spider I've ever bought. Um, I paid... Four hundred pounds, or just under four hundred pounds, for a one centimeter spider, um, and it's worth every penny. It's gorgeous, especially since it's molted now. Uh, the color, the colors on it are just amazing. I'll have to give you guys an update on it at some point. Um, rotary um, is an ex uh, expensive motor to maintain. It is, yes. Uh, I mean, it, I bought it because I the thing is I didn't know anything about the actual car. I looked and I was like, oh, I love that car. Um, so I just literally rang up this place I had on I was like do you have it in um what colour is it and I wanted it in blue they go yeah we've got it in blue I was like okay I'll come and get it and they said oh better yeah we'll deliver it so they literally delivered it to my house and I jumped in it um you know heated seats on um connected my phone to the bluetooth uh, thing that I had uh, my brother it's, it was my brother's dream car so he jumped in it with me and we just went out uh, riding in it. And it was such a nice car. I mean, I used to love, if I was riding, driving it sort of a little bit quick, when you got to like 16,000 revs, um, a light came on the dashboard and would beep to remind you to change gear. Um, at which point you were already like, you know, if you were doing this, your foot was to the floor in it. Um, yeah, amazing car. I, I, I loved the car, but the maintenance of it was so expensive. Um, I can't remember how much I was paying for it. I think... My road tax was six hundred pounds a year. Uh, the fuel, um, maybe because of how I was driving it, but I was, it was costing me seventy pound, about seventy to seventy five pound to fill it up. I was getting a hundred miles to a tank, not 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 a gallon to a tank. So, it was just so expensive. Um, I spent about six hundred quid on tires on it. It's a crazy car, but it was amazing. I love, you know, I do, I did like it. Um, are you going to the Western Invertebrate Show? I'm not, unfortunately. And the reason for that is because, uh, as I said earlier on in the feed, um, I'm going to London uh, a week on Tuesday. And I do, with my job, I do one week on call, one week off. I'm going to London um, for a few days with Kim uh, from the 30th of August. And I'm coming back on the Sunday, the 3rd of September. On the Friday, I'm at YouTube Space, which is going to be awesome. Um, but then the following week, I'm back on call. And basically, if I have a call, I have to get back to work within sort of half an hour. Well, if I'm down in Bristol, I I, I could ride as quick as I can, but I wouldn't get back in Bristol in half an hour. Not a chance. Um, I wouldn't even risk it. So that's why I won't 
well when we attending that show, unfortunately. That said, um, of course, I will be going to the BTS next year. Um, so, and I will be staying in the Holiday Inn the night before, like I did this year. So, if you are in, if you're interested in coming to the show and would like to come down, um, yeah, the night before uh, this year, um, I feel a little bit bad. Um, I was in the hotel, um, and I had to sort of pop to um, go and speak to uh, Stephen. Um, and I ended up sort of like leaving my partner um, for five minutes slash two hours. But um, yeah, uh, it was really good. I was there with Transfer Addict. Uh, the guys from the spider shop were there. Um, and yeah, there's like sort of, there loads of people. Uh, and it was really good. I actually met uh, Mark from Mark's Tarantulas. Uh, he was there. And he was introduced to me by... Who was it now? Um, I think it was... It might have been Sam from the spider shop. I can't remember who it was now. And someone came up and was like, oh yeah, here's Dan. And he introduced me to Mark from Mark's Tarantulas. And I had a really good chat with him. So yeah, next year's BTS. Um, if you're going... You should definitely look at booking a room because it's it's really really good. It's fantastic. Um, um, Frank has been following for a while. Love the videos. Keep it up. Um, I hope oh, I can face. Oh, Ed Francis. Um, I believe you um you liked something on my Facebook page recently because I I liked it. Uh, I I I saw that you'd sort of uh, been on my Facebook, but I had been um I had been is that the way to say it? I was preparing to do this, um, so I haven't sort of replied to anyone yet. So I did have a look on your on your page, and you do the. Um, let me get this right. On the thirtieth of August, you're doing a like a live video on Facebook, I believe. I don't know if that's right, but if it is, uh, please let me know, and I will. Um, I you know if you are doing that, I will be more than happy to share that with. Um, all of you know my, my, my followers and things uh, on the 30th of August I will not be able to watch that because as I said I'm down in London that weekend um, and on that Thursday I will be do I'm out in London and then I'm doing a, another live talk at 9 p.m. on the 30th of August so but yeah um, yeah I uh, thank you for commenting and watching my content and stuff <laughs> yeah it's raining um the reason that you can hear it is because when my phone gets hot it overheats which is why it's been cutting out so i'm actually holding my phone out the window um to keep my phone nice and cool um which has enabled me to actually do this sort of this video for so long which is really good um can you show us your biggest spider uh, yeah um i have to change my light but it's actually that one in that big it's really hard looking into a camera because everything's backwards. Um, the spider in that enclosure there is uh, my uh, adult female Lassie Dora Powerhibana, the Brazilian Sanford Bird Eater, and that's Zelda. So I will gladly show you her in just a second. Um, if you could have only one piece of tea, and as many as you like, what would you have? Tea Saladonia. Um, again, if you know what it is, you know why my answer is that. If you don't know what it is, go look at my videos on the uh, Typho China Saladonia. Um, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. A thousand, um, thousand votes for a room tour. You know what? Um, I tell you, what, if you specify exactly what it is you want me to show you, I will do it in a video and I will name you. Okay. Um, send me a message if you uh, go onto my Facebook page. Send me a message on exactly what it is that you want me to do. I will give you a shout out and I will do that video for you. And that's to uh, fall in uh, to your school. Uh, Dan, what's your most hated invert hmm um in terms of the inverts that i actually have in my collection at the moment uh the award for that goes to my african predatory beetle which might sound a little bit strange but it's not a very nice you know i mean it's cool to look at but i kind of think everything about it is just evil uh the white tears its food apart is evil um it's I don't know, it's just, it's, it's something that kind of, it's just not a nice, it's cool to own, but it's not a nice thing to kind of have. That sounds really weird. They're cool to, to feed and observe, but yeah, uh, there's, there's something about them. Is it possible to hate an invert? No, probably not hate them, just more strongly dislike, I think. Or at least, you know, if I could, um, if someone said to me you could have any invert, what would be the bottom of the list? 
it'd pro not be one of those because you know but I don't know in terms of what I have um, I like them they, they, like I said it's really hard they're really cool inverts they're fantastic to uh, look at and everything and uh, there's just something about them they're just they're just not very nice animals <laughs> um, Ed Francis well remembered yeah I, I say I mean I, I saw it earlier on and I thought it was um, I, I, sort of, I sort of flicked on it and had the look and just thought uh, I, I was interested in it that's why because I thought oh this guy tries to help people um, with, with spider fears and stuff like that I thought it was really really cool and then I was sort of like right I'll come back to that later because I've got to go and get ready to, to jump onto um, you know to jump onto the stream so um, for those of you that are watching um, Ed Francis uh, hypnotherapy 30th of August live Facebook feed about helping people to overcome fears um, I can't believe Dan remembered the date of that looking I'll send you a message Dan and do a shout out for you on the night uh, Ed Francis that's very kind of you thank you very much and I it's really weird because with my memory when it comes to sort of like spiders and things I'm usually pretty good at retaining information yet you ask me what the next street is to my house I couldn't tell you what it's called um, I'm not very really good at that uh, that's a bit of a thing uh, people say it worked to me because they will say oh you know go there and I'm like I don't know where that is you do it's like a pub like down the road from me and I don't know where it is or what it's called so but yeah no problem um, and to everyone if you're watching this um, on Tuesday's video um, I will put a link um, in this in the description to the page um, to Ed, um, Ed Francis's uh, Facebook page if you'd like to go and check that out, he's doing a live video on Facebook on th on a week on Thursday. Um, so go and check it out. In fact, I'll put it in the video in the description to all of the videos between now and next Thursday, so you can sort of see it and maybe go and check it out. Um, all right, I'll see you on Discord. Hope you make it big on YouTube. Um, yeah, it'd be nice if I did make it big on YouTube. I don't know what how do people class big as YouTube. Because to some people, uh, reaching a thousand subscribers is a goal. Other people, it's ten thousand. Some people, it's a hundred thousand. Some people have won millions of subscribers. Um, for me, I'm happy with how it is. Um, I kind of see that I have a lot of subscribers. I have people that comment on my videos and are very uh, involved in my channels. Excuse me, um, and I enjoy it. So I'm quite happy with that. Um, Yeah, predatory beetles are pretty evil. So, um, wait, I should say for the spider. Oh, uh, yeah, the uh, last year do a power high banner. Okay, give me a second. What I've got to do, I've got to just very quickly um, change the battery in my light because you will not see it otherwise. Um, and I don't want you to. Listen. I don't want you to not be able to see what I'm doing. I'll just try and get the light in. Give me a second. Is that on? It is. We have light. So, um, can I switch the uh, camera? How do I do that? Ah, there we go. So, yes, this is Zelda. Um, so, she's currently eating. Uh, she ate on Thursday. And she had um, an adult locust. And now she's having a another one. So yeah, she's pretty big. Um, Huntsman isn't out. Predatory beetle isn't out. Uh, the tailless whip scorpions. You can just see one of them there. Uh, the other one is underneath, I think. A couple of pokies. Uh, they were pokies. Uh, this is the uh, Chromatopelma sinipubescence. Uh, she, well, I hope it's she, molted recently. Um, and I fed it. Um, centipede, not out. Oh man, I can't see it. Hang on, let me try and put it that way. Can you see it just there with the corner? Uh, that's the uh, T. Celadonia, it's only tiny, so. Uh, yeah, uh, Carabona Verticolors, um, SCAL HMAX. Loads of kind of really cool spiders. Um, I'm still waiting for a sperm web on my uh, Gram Solar uh, Porcupies. Uh, these are two that I rehoused. Um, 
These are the um, Pocletheria Hanuma Velius Amica. You can actually see the one over the back. Um, just there. Adolphine Metallica. She has not yet done a um, an egg sac yet. And actually, you know what? While you are here, I will show you this because I'm really, really proud of this. And I mentioned it. If you were in the... Um, if you were in the feed earlier on, I did the video on this. Um, let's move this out of the way. So yeah, this is the um, malt of the crab, uh, the one that lost the limbs. And I've actually put some meat in for it, as in the whole bone. Let me just try and take that out. So, yeah, this is the uh, crab that lost the limbs, and as you can see, uh, the white, the more pale ones, it has actually uh, grown back its claw and the, all the legs. Four legs and one claw regrew back in one malt. So that's really awesome. Um, that will be um, sort of Saturday's video. So I thought that would be pretty cool to, to show you. Put the food back in for it because uh, obviously... I want it to eat and become nice and strong. Let's put that back up there. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't like, I'm not going to do sort of like a massive tour um, because obviously I need to save some stuff to uh, to do properly. Let's see if I can. Let me turn the camera. Oops, a daisy. Come here. See if I can get get her out. No. No. That was my bearded dragon. She she has this she does this really annoying thing where she looks like she wants to come out, and then when I open the door for her to come out, she then um, disappears back in. Uh, okay, where was I? Um, so yeah, there's Sam Fisher, there's a spider I was going to show you, that's the LP, and a quick look at some other things. Um, of course I have lots of spiders I could show you, but I've got to save some for some videos and things. Um, this isn't a serious question, but does anyone here love these type of videos about spiders and other universe, but really want to enjoy them in their home? Um, no, to Villager Sparky. Um, I'm very much the opposite to that, I think. Um, Wilker, thank you for getting me and my boy into uh, tarantulas. Not a problem. Again, um, if you have um, tarantulas and inverts, what do you have? You have to let me know. Uh, Ed Francis, top bloke, uh, just keep doing what you're doing and you'll be successful on social media. You already are. Uh, thank you. Um, yeah, I I do my best. I, I'm not that bothered about whether I get, like, I guess, sort of super famous or anything. That doesn't bother me. Like I said, I already have a very good following of people. Um, that is more, you know, I, what I have is what other YouTubers would love. Um, you know, I, when I do the Tuesdays uh, shout outs at the end of the video, um, I swear I try and get a lot of um, YouTubers with less views. Um, not so much less views, but, you know, maybe like they're new to YouTube and things. Um, so like the Dark Den, um, you know, he was kind of new. I think, I think back when I sort of spoke to him, he had like, 5,000 subscribers and now he's on like 50 so he's boomed up and he's doing really well which is good um, you got like obviously Mark Tarantulas um, uh, The Nerd Room um, obviously Tarantula Addict uh, he's another one that's kind of successful um, and I have you know, I, I, I've ha I have more that have been sent me um, I can't tell you who's doing Tuesday's videos but I'm looking forward to um, to to him i actually met him um at the bts if you're watching this you'll know who you are for tuesday's video um i met you you came up to me and said hello to me pretty much shook my hand and then went to like walk away because you were you were really shy and i was like no no no, come back come back let's chat <laughs> so um but yeah i it's nice to have a following i, I do in, i enjoy it and i it's nice to know that people enjoy what i do down what's your opinion on the uh um yeah gorgeous I do a lot. I wouldn't mind some actually. Um, I don't actually have any at the moment, so I might have to get some. Uh, that's a hipster end. Um, no, no, it, yeah. Well, that's why I very quickly came back into um, back to put my arm out the window. 
so that my mobile doesn't overheat and this is actually probably how I will do the future ones until I get my laptop set up with the uh, encoding and stuff so I can just do it from my laptop but you know it's not too bad on this it's just a pain because I'm trying to talk to you by looking into the camera I have to look at the screen to read the comments and things um, so yeah uh, Vidge Sparky um, yeah, flies, mosquitoes, um, common cockroaches are a pain. I don't like wasps either. Um, I actually have um, one, two, three, four. I have about five or six um, wild spiders in my bedroom. Now, these aren't anything, you know, uh, some of them are like house spiders or cellar spiders. And they live in my bedroom in the corners of the ceilings and things, and they don't bother me. I would much rather have five spiders in my bedroom, uh, even Kim, um, my girlfriend, she's not bothered by them, that have a wasp or a fly. Um, I absolutely hate, I, I wouldn't kill a wasp, um, you know, I don't mind them, they, I handle them, they don't sting you, um, but I'd much rather not have them in my bedroom if I'm honest. Um, yeah, and that's why I've got this Venus flytrap, uh, which I've been trying to um, grow. And I say, if, if Kim was watching this, she'd be laughing because the one day I was like, it had I managed to grow some really uh, decent heads on it and then Ramsey sort of came out beeline for the plant straight away and uh, just started biting the heads off and I was just like no so a bit of a pain um, how big do the tea celadonia get you know what they get bigger than you think um, I believe um, they have a leg span of about maybe two and a half to three inches I believe um, I've never seen an adult female in person um, I did, when I was at the BTS, someone did have one there, but you could only see it if you had the money to buy it, and it was expensive. Like, like I said, I, I paid £400 for a one centimetre sling, so an adult female was, I believe actually it was over £1,000, I think it was, so, if I remember quickly. But yeah, they do get quite big, so um, about, I believe, there's actually, I can't think what his name is, if you're on Instagram, um... There's a, if you go onto Instagram and type in T Celadonia, um, there's pretty much me and one other person that does uh, the pictures and videos of that particular spider. And there's someone um, who has 10 of them. I think he, ha no, I think he has 10 slings and one adult female. So uh, if you like T Celadonia, you should definitely go and check them out and just say that you came from me. Um, I, it's like £5,000 worth of spider or something crazy like that. So. But yeah, they, when they, when that gets big, oh, I can't wait. Um, okay, I'm back. Sorry for sorry for that. Uh, net died on me. How is everyone? Um, and Dan, what kind of tea would you suggest for someone just starting? Um, so very quickly to go over the what tea to get if you're just starting. I would personally say um, a New World Terrestrial. Um, the reason for that, I uh, you could get like a New World. Oh yeah, I find terrestrials are easier to keep. Um, you want something that's going to be fairly quick growing, um, but that's not going to be too aggressive and things. So personally, I would recommend uh, Brachypelma or the Gramostola. Uh, I personally, I would actually, I, I would recommend the uh, the Lassiodora as well. Now, some people would disagree and say, oh, but they can be a bit aggressive. The thing is, they aren't really, especially if you leave them alone a bit. Um, the Gramostola, I've had one that was just wonderful so you know typical you know docile and nice the other one was like an obt um i find they're very unpredictable so yeah i would say probably any of the brackets to be fair uh if you can get yourself a b amelia which is my favorite species um they're fantastic and they aren't that slow growing to be fair um or a if you're going to get a gramstola get a porkra you will pay more for them but um yeah they are just just wonderful um, I have mine in one of those ones. I think it's that one there. Um, it's a female, and she is absolutely amazing. I absolutely love that spider. Um, I might have to do an, an, an update on her because she's just she's just wonderful. So uh, yes, it does. Um, molting works with basically any kind of invertebrate. So uh, there's like true spiders, tarantulas, scorpions, praying mantis, stick insects, uh, crabs, lobsters. Uh, there's actually a video that I saw, I felt really sorry for it, of a, uh, a Japanese spider crab. That's actually, um, it's molting 
and as it molts out of its old exoskeleton, uh, a manta ray comes over and eats it. And it's like, oh, what a shame. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, okay, you didn't know I had crabs. Um, so um, yeah, I bought the crabs at the BTS this year. Um, they were also in the what you all requested number four, I think it was. Um, and there will be a video purely on the crabs this coming Saturday. Uh, which I know if you've been watching this, you already know what it's about. But I also got a really good uh, kind of a feeding video of this one before it molted, the one with only the one claw. So it's still worth watching if you'd like to. Um, yeah, the dark den. Um, he um, he contacted me uh, back in January um, and was just like he wanted to know whether I'd be willing to. Um, Kind of do a collaboration with him or well, speak to him because he was kind of a very small channel uh, back then as silly as that sounds and he's now he's not he's, he's doing really well for himself like i said really really happy for him um and yes yeah, so i will just say um we are kind of working on something um i can't give too much away about that and i had the pleasure of meeting him at um at the, the bts i sort of picked him up from the train station i spent the day with him and took him back and he is genuinely really really nice here yeah, him and his partner they were just both fantastic so if you don't know who the dark den is go over to his channel and say that uh Tarantula dan sent you over and subscribe to him uh, his channel's doing really well i think he's on there's 50 or 60 thousand subscribers now so he's shot right up um but yeah he's great and i he's a youtuber him and Tarantula addict um silver spiders uh mark's tarantulas john 3800 um Tarantula tales uh, the Nerd Room, um, I used to watch um, Rob C when he did videos, um, there's quite a lot of uh, YouTubers that I watch, both the ones that have got a big following and are kind of established, and the new channels that are just starting, so uh, he's awesome. How many arachnids do I actually own? Um, so yeah, I, I don't know, uh, a lot, um, more than I can count on, on this hand. And probably, probably the other hand as well. <laughs> um, you asked earlier, I have a juvenile, B harmony, C versi, green mottle blue, and I pull prettiest things. Okay, that's a, quite a good list then. Um, yeah, the C versi color, I absolutely love them. It's still a bit of a weird because I spent years. Um, oh, sorry about that. I had my, my alarm was going off at half nine. Um, uh, it's my have alarm that goes off every night. So, um, yeah, um, oh, where was that? Um, yeah, the C verse color. So, I'm used to calling them um, Avicularia verse color, so it's still weird calling them the carry burner, but I will get used to that. So, good shoes for slings. And the green bottle blues again, uh, the chromatopelmus lion pubescence, gorgeous spiders, absolutely love them. Um, Let's see, sub to them both. How long do Indian ornamental tarantulas take to get an egg sac? Um, I, it, it, that's, I believe that's several months, but then, of course, that would depend on whether or not they do them and the conditions and things. So, uh, just 23 tarantulas. My boy loves your videos, and my boy is so happy that you read that out. Ah, uh, no, cool. Um, so, to Will, um, hello to your son. Um, I don't know what your son's name is, so... but. Say hello to him, uh, hello to you, and thank you for watching my videos, and I hope you'll enjoy my future content. Um, it's always great to, I think, when, especially when children watch. Like, I know sometimes I do kind of curse occasionally, and I try not to. Sometimes it just kind of slips out. Um, so I do try not to, especially because of the younger people that watch my videos. What beginning spider, true spider or tarantula, would you not recommend to someone entering the hobby? Um, G. Rosea, because they're unpredictable, as I said a minute ago. Um, Dan, do you still have your assassin bugs? I have um, four adults. No, I don't. Um, I, they died a while ago. I had them for several months, and uh, in fact, I've got a year. In fact, over a year, and they were doing really well, but they just died unfortunately. Okay, I'm gonna have to wrap, wrap this up in about five minutes because I've had a, a warning in my battery is about to go, and my charger's downstairs. So um, yeah, I've done like ninety percent battery in an hour and a half on this. So. I will have to go very, very soon, I apologise, but to answer a few more questions, um, 
Didn't see, I'm fine. Green bottle blue is good for beginners. Yeah, they are. They're fantastic. And they grow quite quick as well. Um, aquarium hobby. Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't mind fish, but I think with fish, it's it's the space. I don't have the space. Um, uh, yes, the dark den. He is he, funny. Um, he's very genuine, and I just really like him. Um, I speak to him on the phone sometimes. Like we'll call up and we'll have like a Skype on uh, every now and again. Um, and there are, we are. I can't. I don't want to say anything because if he's watching, he's gonna kill me. But um, we are kind of working on something. But we've been working on it since January. Like literally, January uh, two thousand seventeen. We started planning something kind of, and we wanted it finished for the BTS and end like mid August. We still haven't done it yet. So. Uh, but yeah, he is he is fantastic. Um, yeah, go and check if you don't know who the Dark Den is. Uh, go and check him out and just say that you say oh, uh, say Dan Oakley sent me or Trancher Dan sent me. Um, you know his his content is re very good and I will I will give him shout outs every day of the week. So, do I have a centipede? Yes, I do. I have a um, Scolopendra subspinites. It's the Vietnamese one. I can't remember what species it is. And now I'm gonna to have to look. Um, where is it? Mystery um, scolopendra. Okay, it's the scolopendra species, the horny, the Vietnamese centipede. Um, did anyone else just look at their phone? Technically, me because I have to. Uh, hey, just joining quickly for a question. Uh, here maybe we can find baboon trunches in the wild. What do you think of people? That capture wild tarantulas. Um, capturing wild tarantulas, I have mixed feelings on. I suppose if they're critically endangered things, then it's worth doing. Like with the um the desert wolf spiderlings, um from the desert islands in sort of like near Tenerife, um. They it's worth keeping rare spiders for the purpose of uh like a net population, safety net population, as they call it. But if there's already like like people going out and capturing like LPs, which you can get anywhere, I don't really see the point in that myself. But then that's just my opinion. Uh, Sam, yeah, I see on Discord. I'll be on Discord in about five minutes. So if any of you want to continue talking to me, I'll be on Discord. There will be a link to the Discord transfer addicts on the, in the description to any of my recent videos. So feel free to to, um, to join. Nice to see a live stream. Hope to see another one soon. Uh, yes, my next live stream will be a week on Thursday at 9pm. Peace out, Dan. Um, yes, Ed, Francis. Um, yeah, take care. I will reply to you on Facebook once I get off this and I'm done with Discord and things. Um, thanks for taking that. Yeah, th uh, to all of you, um, what kind of spider was the one in the grapes? So to Sandra, who asked me what the spider was in the grapes, I could tell you, or you can go and check out the video that I posted like just this morning that actually tells you what it is and how I found it. So, um, so yeah, right guys, I'm gonna have to shoot now. I've been doing this now for an hour and 35 minutes. Uh, I'm sitting on my leg, it's gone, I've got pins and needles again. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna shoot off. So thank you to everyone that has joined um, into this. Oh, Casey, uh, Casey Tarantulas, um, hello. Everyone go check out Casey Tarantulas. Um, I gave him a shout out earlier on in this, but definitely go and um, check him out. Um, I'm going to be jumping onto the Discord page, so feel free to come and join me and continue talking on there. I'll be either on the chat or the voice uh, channel. Um, and my name on there is Trancher Dan, so you can add me. And um, yeah, I'm going to shoot off, so I will speak to you in the comments. Um, and I will continue to answer questions as and when they come up. And if you like this live stream, don't forget to sort of leave me feedback on it. I really do appreciate it. So, uh, yeah, thanks everyone. Uh, take care, and I guess I'll see you in the next video.